All right, here's a, a, a big hit. We're going to start the 1950s with a big hit. That was uh, Lionel Hampton, I believe, uh, recorded it, among other bands. This is The Hucklebuck. Buck, 1950. Thank you very much, folks. We're going to bring back Karen Morrison, and let's see what she's in right now. Why, here she comes. Va va boom. Don't blame her. She was only drawn that way, as they say. <laughs> well, here's a uh, here's a tune that uh, the Andrew sisters recorded. In the late 40s, early 50s, uh, but you're going to take on all three parts. Yes. And it's called He Rides the Range, and it's about a saga of a cowboy. In a D-class studio. In Hollywood. So here we go with He Rides the Range. Where the cardboard cactus grows He rides a range A republic A republic studio And he's a pistol pack and popper With a buck and bronc to bust Though his pistols are loaded with blanks I have a hundred bad guys always bite the dust Every time the camera cranks He rides the range Republic, where the western breezes blow. He rides the range for Republic, a Republic studio. Maybe I. He 
A rope and romp and rustler, but he's in a kind of rut while escaping from a posse of men. His director's always jumping up and shouting, Cut! We'll have to shoot it over again. He rides a range, a republic, where the western breezes blow. He rides the range, a republic, a republic studio. He rides the range. Well, rather, Care Morrison singing the song, He Rides the Range. <laughs> Glad I got that right. Yeah. And now we're going to do a, uh, another Latin number for you. This one's a mambo. And this was a uh, lovely one from 1959. And this tune is, uh, was uh, recorded by Ema Sumac. Yes, you've heard of her, and you'll hear what she sounds like when you hear Care. This is called the Gopher Mambo.
Wow, and ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna bring back the Lindy sisters right now. And how about their, well, how about their outfits, ladies and gentlemen? Now, of course, in the last set, they uh, sang the, some of the hits of the Andrews sisters. And of course, by the 1950s, a new group of uh, young ladies were, were hitting the charts. And of course, we're talking about uh, the McGuire sisters. So now we're gonna do some lovely McGuire tunes for you. And where's the other one? Oh, there's your one. It's a great hit from Thank you, Lindy's. Then we're going to have them do uh, another McGuire Sisters tune right now. This was one of their hits from February of 1958. And uh, we'll say, we'll, we'll dedicate this one to the memory of Dorothy. It was the middle sister. It passed away a few months ago for Dorothy. And this one was uh, a lovely one. You'll love it. Sugar Time. Sugar and love. 
They really like it. They're, they said, put it in. I said, I don't know. Oh, they'll, they'll like it. Okay, they like it. All right, we're good. It's sweet. It is sweet. Very sweet. We're going to have them do one more of these uh, great numbers. This one actually was recorded by the Cordettes and was a, a group that was founded by uh, Archie Blyer. Archie Blyer, the famous uh, 1930s uh, uh, conductor arranger who formed his own record label and uh, kind of groomed this group for stardom. Anyway, their hit from 1954. Uh, I... Mr. Sandman. There we go. The other one. Mr. Sandman. Sisters, ladies and gentlemen, how about a big hand? They're gonna go off stage and make another costume change. And uh, we're actually at this point going to uh, go into our next decade because we're running out of time. We're going to the 1960s. Well, in my opinion, one of the, uh, the the last great decade of big band music. All right, you fight it out among yourselves. Okay. Now we're gonna bring uh, actually. Here's something that's completely different from the last number. We're going to bring back uh, Damon Kearse and sing for you a tune recorded by Jack Jones from the mid-60s. This is Wives and Lover. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hey, 
little girl Comb your hair, fix your makeup Soon he will open the door Don't think because there's a ring on your finger You needn't try anymore For wives should always be lovers too Run to his arms the moment he comes home to you I'm warning you Day after day there are girls at the office And men will always be men Don't send him off with your hair still in curlers You may not see him again For wives should always be lovers too Run to his arms the moment he comes home to you I is almost here Hey, little girl, better wear something pretty Something you'd wear to go to the city and dim all the lights, pour the wine, start the music. Time to get ready for love. Dim all the lights, pour the wine. Start the music, time to get ready for love, time to get ready, time to get ready. Ladies and gentlemen, our own Don Draper, Damon Kirsch. Crazy, man, crazy. All right, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> you know, doing this uh, evening with 20s and 30s and 40s and 50s, some things are going to be a bit of a shock. This next one is going to be that example of a shock. So. Uh, and of course, this year we're celebrating the 50th anniversary of the release of the very first James Bond movie, Dr. No. And in its honor, we're going to play for you one of the most recognizable tunes in motion picture history from 1964's... Well, here we go. You know what it is. Here we go.
cool guitar, Denny Hardwick. Recreating the famous guitar riff by Vic Flick. We celebrated his 75th anniversary this, uh, his 75th birthday this year. Vic Flick from the uh, motion picture of the gold. All right, I got to bring back uh, Don Draper here. We're going to bring back uh, Damon Kirsch. Sing for you a song that is kind of a, you know, the, the great arrangements from the, uh, the Rat Pack era. This one was actually recorded by a gentleman who was born Sidney Leibowitz. He was. Later changed his name to Steve Lawrence. And so here we go with it's the Steve Lawrence version of In the Still of the Night.
Damon Kirsch, ladies and gentlemen, in the steel of the night. Now we're gonna uh, do a, a beautiful waltz for you right now. Nineteen sixty-one, and this was the signature song of a gentleman, a great entertainer and singer who just passed away. I'm speaking of Andy Williams, and this is his signature tune, Moon River. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and Godspeed to Andy Williams. We're gonna bring back Karen Morrison right now. Okay, let's see what outfit she has now this time. And uh, she's gonna, we're gonna go back to James Bond right now. Night, and uh, the, the great Shirley Bassey tune from 1964, Goldfinger. Ready, kid? Yes.
kiss of death from Mr. Goldfinger. Pretty girl, beware of this heart of gold. This heart is And now for something completely different. A drink of water. Here's a song recorded by Dinah Washington in 1962. The great swinging number called Destination Moon. Oh, oh. 
Kim Morrison. Happy New Year. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's bring these swing and the smitten kittens up to the... That's right, here they are. Wow, what a... It's great outfits. There we go, watch out there. Ah. You're a gentleman, Mr. Draper. Yes, yeah, you can see, it's proof positive, folks. Busted. Yes, she was on a parade float in Glendora. Those things are vehicles of death. Those parade floats, you gotta watch out for this thing. But anyway, we're glad that she's on her feet and ready. Oh, we're doing our number, aren't we? Yeah, you need the, you need oh. the wireless. Oh, hey guys, um, I forgot to write this down. At the end of the second ending, end of the second ending, do the, do the BS after the second ending. Okay, so, so just forget all the rest of that other stuff. The BS after the second ending, and just go right to the top. Take it easy. All right. I, I did not request. I, they asked. This, uh, all right, here we go. They wanted to do this, so here we go. Come on, Tomcat. That's right, that's right. These are the smitten kittens. I forgot your names. You are now Calico. Minx. Minx. Tabby. And Tab, Tabby? Tabby. Oh, and uh, apparently and I'm, I'm feral, right? I'm feral cat. All right, this is a waltz, by the way. Okay, so since we're nothing, you guys can make. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. What's new, pussycat? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's new, pussycat? Whoa. Cat, pussy cat, I've got flowers and pots of hours to spend with you. So go and powder your cute little pussy cat nose. Pussy cat, pussy cat, I love you. Yes, I do. You and your pussy cat nose. What's new, pussy cat? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Pussycat, pussycat, you're so thrilling, and I'm so willing to care for you. So go and make up your cute little pussycat eye. Pussycat, pussycat, I love you. Yes, I do. You and your pussycat eye. What's new, pussycat? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Pussycat, pussycat, you're delicious and if my wishes can all come true, soon I'll be kissing your pretty little pussycat lips. Pussycat, pussycat, I love you, yes, I do, you and your pussycat lips, you and your pussycat eyes. Pussy cat, no. <laughs> What's new, Pussy Cat? Thank you very much, kids. And now that I have thoroughly embarrassed myself, I shall put this away and let the kittens do well. Something involving footwear. The the. These Birkenstocks were made for walking? What?
for a speedy recovery. All right, ladies and gentlemen. We have time for one more number. We have, uh, <laughs> we've, uh, we've had a lot of fun going through this really crazy musical journey here for spanning about 50 years. We're gonna do one last number, but first I'd like to introduce the members of the orchestra. On the trumpet line, we have Jonathan Dane, Chris Tedesco, and Roy Wiegand. On the trombones, Toby Holmes, Dave Ryan and Robbie Hiyoki. On the sax line, Albert Alba, Matt Germain, Phil Krozak, Chloe Fioranzo, and Martin Matthews. On the drums back there, Ray Frisbee. Ha! On the, on the guitars, Denny Hardwick. On the bass, Jim Garofalo. And we'd like to thank our choral department, Kara Morrison, Damon Kirsch, and the Lindy Sisters slash Smitten Kittens. All right, we're, uh, we're gonna do a, uh, a real brisk swing number for you by Duke Ellington. This came from his Nutcracker Suite from 1961. And uh, just as a reminder that we are actually going to be doing a concert program. This is real long hair stuff for us next month. In Pacific Palisades, we're gonna be doing the Ebony Concerto by Igor Stravinsky. Not quite danceable, I understand. And, uh, and uh, Leonard Bernstein's Prelude, Fugue, and Riffs. And the Duke Ellington Piergint Suite. That's gonna be my big band here. And then we're gonna have, the second half will be a dance program. So definitely come out to that. So the St. Matthew's Guild in Pacific Palisades, uh, January 25th. So if you'd like more information, look us up, moreismodern.com or deanmora.com. So here we go with the last, the last uh, movement of um, the Nutcracker Suite is called the Peanut Brittle Brigade.
Fiorando. All in time. All right, folks, I believe it's that time. That's right, in some, in, uh, in some Pacific island right now, I believe they're almost celebrating New Year's right now. Uh, New Year's Eve. Well, yes, true. Yes, that's right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to ring in the new year, 1943. According to my watch, somewhere in the universe, it's 1943 in about 15 seconds. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Happy, Happy New, New Year's Year. Eve! Happy 1943, everybody, and let's hope 43 is better than 42. And of course, we can't forget our birthday boy. Hey, we're going to wish a uh, happy birthday to Damon Kears right now. Here we go. One, two. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Damon. Happy birthday. And Damon's also 43, aren't you? This is Swingin' Max DeMille here. Yes, we might be in the swingin' 60s, but the Cicada Club brings you the finest entertainment from all decades, thanks to Mr. Dean Mora and his orchestra. But until next time, this is Maxwell DeMille, wishing you all the best of good luck and Happy New Year. Thank you very much, everybody. Happy New Year's Eve.